Hey guys, Sam here. I'm going to explain to you how the FuelBee app works. The FuelBee is a GPS tractor navigation app that is used by farmers where they can navigate their fields in the most efficient way with high precision. The app is used by more than 100,000 farmers in over 140 different countries. And the app has a record keeping system that allows you to save your work and update it to the cloud. In these tutorials, I'll explain to you how the app works and how you can use it. Hey guys, I will show you how to use the navigation page. Um, so for starters, you can see that the blue dot on the map, that is your current location. The bottom left target icon will always bring you back to your current location. So if we zoom all the way out, then the target symbol on the bottom left will always bring you back right to where you are. The yellow symbol, the INT with the GPS only, that is your GPS signal. And you want to make sure that it is connected to the field B. Now at the top right, we will see two things. So we see the measurement tools and the different layers. So for measurement tools, we have ruler path and ruler area. So what ruler path does is that it allows you to measure distance. So we'll select ruler path and we'll zoom out. Now we can set points on the map so we can measure distance. I will use the highway as an example. So set one point, set another point. And here you can see that ruler path gives you the total distance and the direct path. So if we have multiple points, I will set another point over here, then ruler path will also give you the direct path from the very first point to the very last point. Now if we select back, so we do exit now, we can select ruler area and this will give you the surface area of a field. So we'll select ruler area, we'll zoom out, and we will use a soccer field as an example. So you can select points on the map. Here we are, one, two, three, four. And you can drag your points. You can also set as many points as you like. Um, you can see right now that it is red. And when you press away, um, it will be gray again. And you can just drag the points um, to your need, uh, whatever you like, and yeah. So right now we will see we will just leave it as it is. But you understand now that surface ruler area measures the surface area and the perimeter. So press away, and we will go to back again. So exit now, and now we can actually get started. So we will select the plus button. Um, so now you see we have task, field, vehicle, and GPS. Also width and pattern. And for now, I will select task. So you see we have two old tasks. We have fertilizing and spraying. And if you want to simply add a new task, press the plus button. And what you see with here is that we have many tasks. So we have fertilizing, spraying, tilling, planting, harvesting, and other. If you do not find a task that you want to do on the list, then you can select other. But for now, we will use planting as an example. So select planting as a task. And now we have field. So when we go to field, you'll see we have two fields already, Bravo and Alpha. So corn and apple. And... If you want to add a new field, you can simply press plus. So here you have auto fields from track, and this allows you to start um, recording your track, and the system automatically creates the field around your track. So while you, you can just drive your lines, and then the uh, app will create a field around your track. You also have manual measure, and here you can draw your own field. Um, with GPS measuring, here you can drive around the perimeter of your field 
That way the app knows the perimeter. And then um, once you have the perimeter set, then you can actually start driving. And with the import SHP, um, you can use the fields that you uploaded to your eFarmer or FieldB account. Um, you can collect them from the archives and you can get it from the cloud into the app. So for instance, if we select this option, you'll see, um, yeah, you can import your fields from the eFarmer web. Uh, we will not do that for now. We will go to select field and for now, press the plus button again and I'm going to do the manual measuring. So here, I am going to choose one of the soccer fields that I would like to measure. I'm going to select this one. And here you can select points around the field, as many as you like. So one, two, three, four. And you can drag your points to fit the exact needs. And you will see that there will be a cross icon, which means that you can drag them. And once you press away, then the cross icon goes away and that means your point has been set. So we'll do it for this last point over here. Drag it, press away. And now let's say we were completely satisfied with this field. We can select the save icon this allows us to save our field. So we will name it for this example, Charlie. I'm just giving the military name so it's easier for me to remember which fields I'm using. Then you select next. The area is actually already given. Select next again. And you can select a crop. So you see that we have many options here to choose from. Um, I will select peas for now. And you can also classify your crops into different groups. So you see one of the groups that already exists is cornfields. But if you want to add a new group, you can just select new group, type in a name, and press save. So for now, once we are satisfied with all the details, you can press the yellow save icon and it will save your field. So now we have to go to select field again and we can see that our field, Charlie with the peas, that is the one we will choose. And you can also now select a vehicle. So we can select one from the list. And if you do not see a field that is on your list, or sorry, vehicle that is on your list, press plus. You see you have vehicles and implements, so if you wanted to, you can implement a new width. But for now, we will go to vehicles. And you can type in the model, the width, and the year. And once you are satisfied, you can press save. So select cancel. And But for now, we will select a vehicle from the list. So select John Deere. And we can also influence the width if we like. So I will just change it to 2.5, save. And you also see you have your GPS. You want to make sure that it is connected to the field B. And also for the patterns, you see that we have, we'll select the pattern button. And see here you have AB straight, AB curve, headland straight, headland curve, and save track. And recently used patterns. So if you already have a track saved or a pattern that you used, you can just simply reuse that. Um, AB straight is useful if you only want parallel lines. So this pattern works for existing and chosen fields. So what we will see in a little bit is that um, you only need to drive the first pass and you will select point A at the beginning and point B at the end. But do not worry about this for now. We will explain that when it comes. But just so you know, AB straight is useful if you just want to drive simple straight parallel lines. Um, and headland straight means that you'll first drive around the field perimeter. And then 
while following one side you will put A and at the other side you will press B and after finishing driving the perimeter uh, parallel lines will be ca calculated and displayed so again you will drive around the field perimeter and once you're done the parallel lines will be created for your field and if you already had a saved track uh, that you recently used um, you can also use that as well so this means that you used your own pattern um, in your field and if you have it saved then you can just start where you left off so for now I will select a B straight um, so we have everything set and we can actually press the arrow button to start but before we start completely I'm just going to select back and one thing I want to explain to you guys real quick is that on the top right icon we have the different layers next to the measurement tools so when we zoom out you can see that if we select normal it will give us the animated Google Maps version when we select hybrid it will give us the live version of Google Maps and when we select satellite um, it will give us the more detailed version and this is also the default view this is the view that I recommend using because it personally I believe it is the best and you also see that a crop icon is select sorry a crop icon is selected and when you unselect the box you'll see that the fields go away and you only see the perimeter but again we will go back to the crop icon and select so again with our task um, now you guys saw how we can create our task I'm going to do it real quickly so planting the field that we selected was Charlie the vehicle that we chose was John Deere the GPS we made sure was connected to the field B and the pattern that we had was AB straight and the width that we were going to choose was 2.5 and now we can select the arrow button so what we see here is that we are now in the driving phase now the A to our left that is the indicator of the starting point of the line and once you have finished driving your first line you will have to press B now what this does is that it allows the app to create lines that are parallel to the very first line and you can see that we have positive numbers which indicate any line to the left of our original line and you have negative numbers which will indicate the lines to the right of our original line and at the very bottom you can see that we have the current distance covered we have your speed we have total distance covered and we also have the total time duration and in the top left corner you can see that we have a strong RTK signal which is indicated by the color green and this will give you very high precision and when you start driving your line you will see that there will be two arrows pointing towards the Y line which indicates that you are driving correctly and there's also you will have arrows that will be pointing from one side um, from the line and what this means is that if the arrow is pointing from the right side coming from the right side and pointing to the left it means that you have to steer your tractor to ensure that you stay on the correct line and once you have done that you will see that there will be two arrows pointing to the line which means that you're driving properly straight and you will also see that to your far top right there is an arrow with a line underneath it and this will indicate that you can stop spraying with the app and if you want to start spraying again you'll see an arrow with a line and three bars underneath it indicating that you can start spraying and if you are satisfied with your track you can press the pause button on the bottom right and you can save your track you can give it a different name and it will be saved in your fields and from there you can add tasks notes any information that you like 
Thanks everyone for watching and feel free to subscribe to our channel for more videos and tips.